It's time for On Point, where we speak to experts to delve deeper into some of the key issues in the spotlight right now. Last night, South Korea faced off against Brazil in a friendly ahead of the 2022 Qatar World Cup set for later this year, in which Brazil easily defeated Korea 5-1. That's right. While a ton of attention was, of course, on the Brazilian national football team, which boasts some of the best players in the world, including Neymar, many also had their eyes on the EPL Golden Boot winner Son Heung Min. Now, for a look at last night's match and the upcoming World Cup, we connect with Kim Ted Young, sportscaster and CEO of Fit Together. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning. Uh, good morning. So, so first and foremost, uh, what's your take on South Korea's match against Brazil? I mean, we knew it was going to be pretty difficult against uh, the world number one ranked team, but I mean, it was a pretty big loss for South Korea. Yeah, I guess uh, one of the best of, uh, team of the world. We had a very austere game uh, as both teams were moving towards the World Cup. And the, the game was uh, serious for the whole 90 minutes, like the 5-1 score chart shows. Yesterday game uh, will be an important lesson for Korea. Korea maintained their playing style and played bravely. However, Brazil showed a series of world-class performance. And, well, despite the loss, many say that it's still the most talented national football team that South Korea has had in the run-up to a World Cup. But what are so, still some things that the team needs to work on? Uh, well, the biggest strength of the Korean national team is that the team has a clear playing model, uh, which means that uh, the team has clear t team color. The national team aims to hold on the ball for a longer period than the opposition and try to display a proactive game management. Uh, there is a direct correlation between this and the time Paul Bantu has spent with the national team. Uh, since August 2018, he has been the manager of the team and for four years he has had a very consistent plan. Indeed, there were some criticism toward his ways. Uh, non least Bantu's national team has shown very good performance during the final qualification for the World Cup. I also believe that this national team is very talented and is very well balanced, but we must remember that we are in a very, very tricky group. Uh, moreover, like in some situation during yesterday's game, many people uh, have doubts about the Korean national team having a lot of possession and playing proactively in the World Cup level. Uh, that's why there is some, there is an emphasis uh, on the needed for Plan B. I also agree to this idea to a certain extent, but this should not be uh, influencing the Plan A we have uh, prepared until now. Uh, of course, this is one. This will not be uh, easy, but it uh, it is also uh, is it not impossible. The Brazilian national team we faced last night is a very, very special team. Uh, teams like Uruguay, Ghana and Portugal are strong team, but if we are well prepared to face them, we'll be able to show good performance against these teams. Yeah, it's interesting that you talk about uh, possession because I think the, the biggest difference we saw last night's match is Brazil's passing as opposed to South Korea's passing, which I think uh, needs certainly a lot of uh, work there. Uh, but going into, I guess, uh, Son Heung Min, right, the Golden Boot winner, what kind of role will Son Heung Min play for the Taeguk Warriors uh, during the World Cup? I mean, he's sort of been less aggressive in the attack with the national team as opposed to when you know, he plays for Tottenham. Yeah, he has been uh, less aggressive on the offense with the national team as opposite to playing for Tottenham. And the national team and Tottenham are two different teams and Son has different roles in, in both teams. Apart, of, apart from the technical aspect with the Korean national team, Son must bear a bigger responsibility. Uh, it's very difficult to play both the role of a leader and the, play, the best player, an uh, ace player in a team. And not least, uh, Son is trying his best in his position. Son can play everywhere in both uh, wider areas and the central areas. The national team, he uh, tend to have more tactical freedom. Uh, the freer Son plays, the more frequently he will be involved. Uh, on the other hand, this means that he will be further away from the opposition goal 
uh, which means it will be easier for the opposition uh, to defend against. Also, Tottenham's attacking pattern and speed is faster than is more direct than those of Korean national teams. So uh, these factors may be difficult for some. And how do you think teams like Portugal, Uruguay and Ghana are going to strategize against South Korea and Qatar, especially with Son Heung-min now garnering more attention from opposing teams? Yeah, as we could see against Brazil, uh, there are talented attacking units within the Korean national team who will be able to work with Son, uh, both in possession and during the transitional phase. Korean attackers can show their abilities as uh, they approach the opposition penalty area. Son can finish the play himself or can act as a decoy for his teammates. Oppositions will focus on marking Son, but Son is used to this and know uh, very well how to play under those uh, circumstances. The problem is moving towards the attacking areas, as we could see from the game against Brazil yesterday. Uh, when the opposition play intense high press, Korea had lots of problems. Uh, they must find a way to connect a uh, fast and accurate pass to articles beyond the halfway line. Of course, it's not easy, but we have to try, and so we have time. So we have to do we have to do our best on this way. Yeah, it is interesting that you're saying that the, the opposing teams are going to focus more on Son Heung-min, but uh, at the same time, South Korea does have very good. Uh, attackers in uh, Hwang Yi-chan, for instance, or Hwang Yi-cho. Uh, speaking of which, uh, other than Son Heung min I mean, who do you think will be also a difference maker on the national team and also why? Well, uh, in case of defense, Min Jae, Kim Min Jae uh, is the key, but uh, if we look for the difference marker, ma uh, dif difference maker in attack, well, it would most certainly by, be uh, Lee Jae Song. Uh, Yi Jae Sung is a very smart and diligent player. He allows his teammates to shine and eventually allows himself to shine as well. Off the pitch, he is a player who allows his teammates' abilities to be improved along with his ability. Uh, there are two players who must come back quickly uh, because, as you know, yesterday uh, two both players was absent. So. Uh, we really want to see them uh, quickly in the next game. Well, thank you very much for your insights this morning. We look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you very much. Have a good day.